component is about financial capital management. And so we basically broke into those three particular components so that it can actually flow. And initially it was just financial management and we felt that it was as three major components with it. Uh, the, the general management, uh, the human resources management, and the financial management model. Oh, okay. Um, that's uh, that's all. Right? Yes. Uh, okay. I think let's get some let's get some comments. Some, some comments. comments yeah. 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 Any comments, suggestions? Looks like people are happy with this. No, not until okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was still thinking yes. we also need to have an input on the existing. Uh, environment. For example, as we are talking about uh, uh, traceability and so on, mm -hmm. we also need to understand what the existing uh, registration mm -hmm. in the seed sector because it will eventually affect the seed business uh, enterprise, especially at the beginning when we are uh, talking about uh, the general seed system management. We also need to understand the issues of uh, the registration environment. So you are saying it's important in the regulatory environment. Not what you mean. Yeah. 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 How can okay? Any other speak up? Uh, we have two points to resolve. So, uh, Maybe just without uh, uh, okay. so what you are saying is key. We want to overload, but I think we need to fix something there for people, to, the company to start understanding. What happened when we, we did our first training? We had a, a regulatory uh, post, uh, professor, what was going on before we crashed it? And uh, there were a lot of arguments that, oh, we don't need this uh, uh, setup of, uh, of Kenya here, which is bottling the seed industry. Then the questions, but the people are exposing the three and a half days we are talking about. Uh, and so when you have collapse already, you should have seen the bigger picture uh, before collapsing. And that's when the instructions were in the land. So we can see, but you really, we should have seen the bigger picture, what we have been teaching, what are we revising? <laughs> I, I think what you can do, there is a section where there was a division of this service, where you are all, there are a lot of packing changes, I think that's what. The three units yes. that propose the changes, I think that's why it's uh, a problem. Collapsing. This one. This is what we are This is all of us now. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 but so, we need to look at that so, and then so, look at the day plans for five okay. or six days. Okay. Then that will be done. Let's focus on this section. Yeah. Yes, yeah, this is what happened. So we uh, first, uh, I thought uh, we could uh, include uh, the following courses, the following topics in the courses. Uh, that is the definition of seed within the planning and management seed production. Uh, let me just clarify the three main courses. <laughs> first is the planning and management of seed production. Then the second one is seed production research. And certification standards, and the third is seed grow contracts and management of seed growers. <coughs> so, so in the first one, uh, there are some topics that we went through and realized we needed, needed to add. This is the definition of seed. Definition. Yeah, because uh, seed can be uh, yeah. cannot necessarily just be grain, goes beyond grain. Uh, especially for vegetatively uh, propagated crops. Uh, then we have the seed value chains. That is the reproduction systems of priority crops also included. Because we realize that uh, the reproduction system can define the seed delivery system. Then the seed production planning. That is the unit costs of seed production. Uh, production targeting and budgeting. Then criteria for selecting seed growers, forms of seed grower contracts and incentive schemes. 
management of uh, seed crops, including the mode of production, land preparation, isolation distances, planting and management of seed crops, including pests, diseases and weeds. This is from the whole agronomy part of it. Then in the same uh, management production, you have to include the issues of harvesting, drying, storing of seed crops, quality assurance requirements of hybrid, open pollinated varieties, the SPV varieties for seed production. Uh, seed sources, including uh, bulk multiplication and maintenance, which will also include conservation and use of indigenous crop species. Uh, these are mainly the land races. And uh, recent issues on recent advance, advances in seed science and technology, which covers the whole realm of transgenic crops, biopesticides, tissue culture, organic seeds, hydroponics, and other molecular applications in uh, seed quality and ensuring uh, we have clean seed. Those are the issues that we thought would be added in that particular uh, course. Some of these issues, we were, the ones in yellow, we are still we were still discussing them, and we are hoping to uh, we integrated some of them uh, in the next courses, like the certified seed, uh, but production and drying and grading uh, uh, treatment and packaging will still be under the this course on production. The important issue that we also uh, put a lot of time in is thinking about what practical sessions will be. And this, we thought, would include laboratory demonstrations. And beyond that, we have spreadsheets. That is for targeting crop species, uh, targeting and uh, unit cost for the, uh, calculations. And then uh, we would target different crop systems, especially the project crops, uh, different production reproduction systems, we visit different demonstration plots in a, at different stages of a, of plant growth. Uh, we'll also expose the students on uh, packaging, seed labels, and various classes of seeds, and how these are labeled. Issues of tissue culture will also come in handy for the students. And uh, we thought also if we could have a semis video clip on some of the most important processes on uh, seed production, uh, it would be very handy for the students to have a feel of the different uh, processes that go in seed production. Uh, these exercises, this just emphasizing some of these spreadsheets for calculating seed production goals of all seed classes, uh, based on future sale targets. So that practical session was uh, 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 seen to we cover up to around a third of the course. Uh, then uh, in the second course, uh, we have the seed production research and certification standards. In these seed certification standards, the first topic that we thought would be necessary is an overview of the seed delivery systems and seed classification systems, as seen in PAO, OECD, and AOSA. Certification programs, which includes uh, NPT, DAS standards, and varietal descriptors. Beyond that, uh, we thought intellectual property rights uh, for registration and variety protection would be important. On top of what was already there, that is the relationship uh, with or, or of uh, national authorities, within national seed authorities, and other elements of seed certification, inspection regulations, procedures of seed certification, and the role of national and international seed. Uh, regulatory agencies. I'm 
polarization and influence on regional trade. The practicals in this case will include field visits to the national seed regulatory agencies, seed companies, seed type institutions, uh, to get hands on experience on different seed production models, outdoor contracting, and certification processes. The third course uh, was uh, to deal with seed grower culture and management of seed growers. And in this course, uh, some of the topics to be covered was the role of seed growers, uh, methods of establishing seed producer prices, uh, cost plus uh, comparative pricing, preparing seed production budgets, managing growers, grower training and development. And the practical session will be a class exercise for applying grower training and development scheme and pre preparation of seed production budget for, for, for the farm market. Formal and informal seed delivery systems, <coughs> methods of organizing smallholder farmers to produce crop seed, group dynamics, and challenges related to seed production with smallholder farmers and potential practical solutions. So those are the three uh, major courses that uh, we, we, uh, we discussed. I don't know. Because now we're going, uh, we, we made a, a three-day meeting to go through the... No, no, I no at, at this point, yeah. at this point, yeah. I think uh, <laughs> we'll leave it that way. Okay. Uh, so that we can get input right. to those who have revisions. Maybe we'll, you know, we'll receive a suggestion. Let's put the first one. Okay. You know, the three units, you know, and uh, we have some input from the side. Yes. Right. Okay. I think yeah, the, it's good that we think this is because you see here the uh, point we raised earlier. Now, in this production course, you can see there an element of uh, production parts. Production yeah. Okay. Yes, the same production, production plan. Yes. So that really what we're trying to get uh, all these managers to have is up there you have uh, a three or a five year strategic plan. Mm -hmm. And then below that you have the annual business plan for the entire company. Then the various functional areas will develop the functional plans from the annual business plan. So from the marketing module will come the marketing plan. From this module here will be the production plan. I think that we, we are all, uh, you know, synchronized uh, to accomplishing the enterprise. And, and my additional uh, comment, what the professor has said, was my question was how has business management and what uh, taken into consideration the production cost in the financial management? Because we got some very good details uh, from China. So that was my question. Uh, now we are talking about, because they are costs at production level, and then we, you are looking at the business, the total business. How have you captured this? I know uh, Dr. Ikal, you are there, the guru for farm management. So I hope this has been taken into consideration. Otherwise, we'll be planning for the end of the product uh, and leaving out the production cost if the company has to see the total as they manage their cost and everything. So that was my question. Hey. Yes. Now we have a comment about yeah. this all about the uh, costing and budgeting. Yes. Yeah. Whether well, it has taken into consideration the production cost. Actually, my question was how has business management cost model taken into consideration the production cost their financial issues. Uh, yeah. That should be taken care of in the financial planning and forecasting. Because uh, the forecasting will start uh, with basically us looking at the demand and looking at how the production is taking place and all through. So if we link that with what you have in your production uh, uh, targets and budgets, we should be able then to put a cost to that. Okay. 
yes, what, what I wanted uh, to add here, it is very uh, well, the, the, the whole thing is that uh, I wish this was a continuous call because it would start with the business plan. Mm -hmm. However, with the in view that we are in it this way, I think when we introduce a course on seed production itself, the part on seed production, you have to talk a little bit of the background where the planning is coming from. You have to tell them this is part of the business plan that the company has already adhered to. The targets are we are going to think about in the lecture are the targets that you as managers have been given through your business plan. You can't think beyond that target. Now, the unit planning that we are doing for you to be able to do the target planning, which is the business plan on the annual business, is based on what now the company has planned through its business plan. That is the matter of all the courses. Then after that, you just take them through the delivery of how to do the unit plan so that we can understand the unit planning in terms of the seed amounts from the breeder, you know, all through pre basic to basic and certified product that they have planned to sell. You have to do that. Colleagues, I okay. totally agree how whether we can do it in this, but we have to see how we can start getting this money. We are giving people uh, a skills uh, course. And we really have to see how we tie their in. That the, so that they can catch seeing this body change in seed we have emphasized. Otherwise, the two courses are far removed. We, we give the other one, the seed production is given uh, differently, and then we have another team coming for seed business and marketing, uh, quite far removed. So we have to see how we can. Uh, what we say is the value chain that we need to Because otherwise, I'll, I'll start, I'll be looking at you to go with your money at the end. But the problem, the issue started from uh, the land production, land preparation. How did we, then there are these other, uh, the NPPOs coming between. So how do we take, so that by the time they are pricing their seed, they actually are going to make some break even, and they are not going to go on. Uh, and some people have picked it, and there are, some companies have picked it, uh, and are moving on. And for sure they are making money. If we can get people retiring and uh, wanting to do that business uh, in uh, uh, I'm tempted, you know. Yesterday, before we started, we shared, the marketing group shared with the production required so that the people producing will produce what the market wants. We don't start by producing and taking to the market, and a lot of it will go to waste. Now, if the production group uh, stress on planning for some specified quantities, then even their business plans will provide for the, the cost plus pricing which they talk about somewhere. Yeah. yeah. This one is planning mm -hmm. the production, the production mm -hmm. targets, you yes. know, what, what you need, how much do you want to produce of this particular species, mm -hmm. you know, what the most, you know, you must have some uh, clear idea of the business. Yeah, the cost of production then, is linked to yeah. quantities. Yeah. But they're going to cost to produce that quantity yeah. and even rather the sales. So, yes, okay, so some. Uh, what it will come from? Yeah. It will come from the overview. Yeah. What we said the chain by. Mm -hmm. Whereby somebody has to tell them um, whatever we are going to need to get delivered to you comes from the business plan that you, as a company, has already developed. So this plan, which you are going to do, the target you are going to do must come from the business plan. Then from there, you can just give them any other information you Okay.